God damn it. Hello once again. It's time for Iroha. The final one we'll be looking at in terms of like all the collab characters that we've gotten for this game. Yeah, okay. Iroha is fire. She's human now. It's not unknown. <laughs> She's a special type character. She has 1275. HP and 88, 25 attack, she's spear base. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I did not level her at all. I only got her to level 80 and call it a day. Okay. Um, okay, it's Amatsugachirin. Massive fire damage to a foe when Fu is consumed. Bonus fire damage, Getsu effect to caster. The fuck is Getsu effect? Amatsu Hanodoki. Fire damage to a foe when when what? When Ka Cho Fu Getsu are not active, Ka effect to caster. Amatsu ch uh, Chon. When fire damage to all foes, hit to defense stackable. When Ka is consumed, activates twice, Cho effect to caster. Okay? Wait, what? Okay, wait, let me read all everything first. Amatsu Fuga, dodge all attacks. From foes. When Cho is consumed, 50% boost to caster's charge bar slash full effect. Okay. Phoenix Favor. Auto revive effect to at battle start. Wow, how handy. Meditate. Boost to Iroha's attack space based on current Ka Cho Fu Getsu effect. When Getsu is, con is consumed at the end of turn, end cooldown for Iroha's damage skills. Oh. Okay, thank god I don't have to use fucking Kango for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like I really need to use Kango. <laughs> thank god. Okay, I can I can just go like Viking or some shit. Okay, so she's is a little bit standard. Boost to charge bar upon using skill. Oh shit, I have to level that too, huh? Oh fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Oh uh, shit. Uh, this is gonna be... Oh, I guess I can use this, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess technically I can use this. I never used this even once. I'm too lazy to level her now. <laughs> Fuck it, alright. Skill cap? Damn! <laughs> I thought I'll be, I'll get, I'll be able to get like a 3 for 3, right? Like first try skill cap? Damn, dude. None of that is active. So that means she has nothing. Then she gets car effect. And then... When the next turn, when Ka is consumed, she gets to activate this twice. And then the following turn. No wonder this is only ready in one turn. Yeah, so it technically works in like full auto. <laughs> so next then the following turn, she gets this. She gets full effect. And then for her Ogi, when full is consumed, bonus fire damage effect. And Getsu effect to cast her. At that turn itself, when she gets that Getsu effect on Ogi... She'll end all of cooldown. But because this is 7 turns cooldown, right? And you can only use it in turn 2. I guess it looks a little bit different. She's not multi-hit as well. So it's kind of... It's not multi-hit nukes as well. So it's kind of similar as... What Wilnas is suffering. <laughs> but I guess it's, the, the difference that her numbers is going to be different, right? I'll re I'll guess her... her, her num I'll just look at her numbers now. So her numbers when her Ogi... She gets this... When she consumes Fu... Right, she does 800%, I mean, 800k base cap, which is kind of strong, I suppose. But you have to use it in a specific order to actually get it. So then she gets Getsu effect, okay. Her first skill is 730k base cap, which is kind of nice as well. So, fire damage to all foes. 635k base cap and she gets to inflict 10% defend down stackable up to 30 and then yeah this one is just 50% bar okay all right uh sounds pretty straightforward i guess i guess i should try to get skill cap for her <laughs> okay that works all right <laughs> all right i got a skill cap easy <laughs> Alright, what should I try her with? Alright, let's see how full auto works with this though. Green. 
So she's not gonna get a foo if I full auto, right? So I like how how uh, uh, was that Anira with the debuffs. So that's actually very good. Okay. Okay, now we get to see. Almost two mil. All right, not bad. Well, I do not have a skill cap though. <laughs> I mean, the CA cap, so her, her nuke on Ogi is not gonna be that great. I mean, the actual Ogi, I mean. Ugh. Oh wait, now I think about it, right? The skill caps on all the three collab characters are going downwards. <laughs> Isn't it? Prishie was 10%. Lily Seto was 9%. Iroha is 8%, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, finally he lands some of that shit, eh? <laughs> Yes, this is a Nemone, uh, clearly a Nemone uh, showcase, right? Because I even have Nemone on the, on the overlay as well. <laughs> Honestly, seeing on paper, right? I feel like Iroha is like the worst one out of the three. I actually do think Iroha is probably the worst one out of the three. Why, why is it that fire always gets scuffed on, man? Yeah, because the, the, the way I see it, you know, when you, you line up your skills, right? It's actually much harder for Iroha to do a shit, too. See? She cannot get her shit in full auto. Properly. <laughs> at least for Prishi, you can, at least you can somewhat try to control that prop in a way. You know, you have your, your Ogi lined up properly with her skills or some shit. Even in full auto, you can kind of do that. I actually do think that uh, Lily Seto is probably the best and the easiest one to use. Because you only need to give her a lot of meter. And then she's just gonna do a lot of damage for you. You know? But yeah, it doesn't look like uh, Iroha really needs that though, I guess. Doesn't really need like a lot of things to work for her. Basically, I feel like for Iroha's case, right? The only thing you really need for Iroha is giving her the consistent damage. You know what I mean? Because right now I'm using Magna. Magna's problems is usually needing to buff a lot. So you can get consistent damage at high HP. So in my case, I'm using Anira and Nemone for that. You know? But I'm 
very, very certain, you know, for Primal, obviously, you don't really need that, but you know what I mean, right? Because I feel like Iroha is that type of character that she works well on her own. Like, in comparison to the two other characters or for the collab, it doesn't look like that. Because it looks like you probably might want to, uh... You know... Like, have some other shit to go along for that said character in order for them to really shine. Like, Iroha doesn't look like she needs anything. I guess it's also kinda cool that she has auto revive, right? <laughs> she has auto revive, man. Very cool. Oh, she has Getsu now, so you managed to reset it again. But yeah, I mean, I feel like all the characters can be used in full auto at least. Like, for Iroha, you can technically still do it in full auto just fine as well, because you're resetting every time you're doing that shit. So you can kind of, like her skills, you know, to do in order, you can kind of set it, like, it's just an automated setup, right? Which is kind of nice. It's just that I feel, I don't know, it's kind of annoying to get her to work. <laughs> And her nukes sounds really good too, but yeah, single single hit though. <laughs> That's why a lot of times single hit nukes are not that good these days. <laughs> Just because of that. That's why people are always complaining about wilderness. I mean, I guess in a way as well, I could potentially just, you know, like how do I say? I could potentially use, uh, uh you, what, silver? Yeah, Yukata silver or something? Summer Silver, whichever, what, what Silver was that? <laughs> yeah. I could potentially use Silver to pair up with uh, Iroha instead, right? I could probably do that. But I don't think it really, it really would change that much though. Like giving uh, Iroha like double strike or whatever. It's not like it's just, it's not like it's really going to change a lot, to be honest. Because end of the day, I like like I said, right? Like Iroha is just there, like she works without anything, really. <laughs> but it's kind of sad that she can only really ac activate her second skill twice whenever she has that shit consumed, you know, like car thing. She needs to consume the car, and nothing else. Well, I guess she can do the, the whole thing now. Now she has food. And that reset again. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, she's alright. I guess in a way it's like it's probably one, a good character that is very very simple and like pro probably super perfect for like new players coming into the game and shit. Just simply because that Iroha doesn't require anything to function properly. You know? I don't think she does. She probably the only thing she probably will need is just giving her a lot of uh, damage consistency or lots of skill cap in some way. That's pretty much it. You know? <laughs> alright, cool. Yeah, her damage is alright. I wouldn't say she's that high, but it's alright. There's no way it's gonna catch up with Nemone for obvious reasons, because this is a Nemone showcase after all. The only, yeah, the, the really only downside is just not being able to, like, do the, the thing all properly. Because, like, comparison to to the other two, 
It just makes it easier. It makes it easy for this and this to do their shit. This one obviously you can probably make it make use of this a lot easier when you uh, full auto uh, when you you somehow manage to line it up properly in your full auto. If you don't line it up properly, yeah, you can only use it once at a time, which kind of sucks in a way. If you manual, you can obviously make use of all this really really easily. But I probably would say out of the three, this one is de de definitely the, de the best one because she's like literally the easiest one to use. <laughs> Yep, literally easiest one to use and she actually do damage. And technically she does multi-hit, so she has like 4 hit nuke, man. So it's pretty good. Iroha is only like once in a while you, you, when, you, when you can't consume the Kai, the car thing. Then you activate this twice. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. Alright. But I think that's all I can say for Iroha. She's a pretty decent character. Pretty alright. Yeah, so 8%. Nine percent, ten percent. Like how they can, it's, it's just go, it just goes down when I was look at a character one, two, and three. Cool, very cool collab. I actually really enjoyed this collab as well. Pretty cool collab. I'm looking forward to FF14 next. Right, right, side games. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the the videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next time. Or whenever I decide to put something new on GBF again. <laughs> Alright, okay, bye.